It's B-movie time again, and boy, oh boy, do I have a wild film for you. This time, it's 1938's When Were You Born? Produced by Warner Brothers and starring Anna Mae Wong, Margaret Lindsay, Jeffrey Lin, well, not really starring, he's in it for less than five minutes, Lola Lane, and the entire Zodiac chart. This one has murder, lots of flashbacks, and astrology. Lots and lots of astrology. So as always, here's a rundown without any real spoilers, because with only 64 minutes of runtime, I do not want to ruin all the enjoyable absurdity for you. Mrs. May Li Ming is an astrologist. Wait, before we even get into this, I must tell you how this movie begins because it's great. First, we get the absolutely amazing opening credits that feature the cast and their character's zodiac signs. I was thinking, wow, they cast the actors to match the signs of their character. But no, no, they didn't. They didn't. It, it was a missed opportunity. Then we get almost five minutes of 1920s and 30s famed mystic and astrological expert Manly P. Hall, who, I might add, also co-wrote the screenplay, giving us a breakdown of each zodiac sign and their characteristics. I am not kidding. Those born under the sign of Cancer the Crab are born with strong family attachments, considerable vanity, and a sensitive high-strung temperament. Manly assures us this astrology stuff is legit. A crime has been committed. Astrology can solve crime. It has solved many crimes in the past. Astrology is the strangest of the science, but it is a science. Okay. Miss Mei Ling Ming is an astrologer traveling home on an ocean liner headed to San Francisco. On board, she meets an array of interesting characters whose birthdays she uses to immediately judge their characters. You happen to know the hour of your birth? No, just the day. You're cancer. You certainly like pretty clothes, don't you? How do you know that? You're moody and changeable, and you're a bit vain. Okay, Miss Ming, do you really have to call me out like that? When were you born? She even predicts the death of one of the passengers, Mr. Corey. Well, maybe, but I've got a lot of good years ahead at least. You have only a few good days ahead at most. 48 hours is all the time the stars allow. Corey's got some shady business dealings going on, and his romantic affairs are, shall we say, complicated. Tell her to meet me for lunch tomorrow at the Palace Hotel. You forget, Mr. Corey, you're going out of town. I know where I'm going. You tell her what I said. And within 48 hours of the prediction, Corey is dead. But he didn't make himself dead. It was murder. May Lee's prediction initially makes her a suspect in the crime. My own horoscope told me to expect a visitor, followed by a short journey. You're the visitor, and the trip to the police station must be the journey. After convincing the cops that she's not involved, she begins using astrology to help solve the murder. Perhaps from what you know of my birthday, you could tell the inspector that I've spoken the truth. When her brother comes in, will you ask him his birthday? I'm afraid that wouldn't help, Miss Wayne. Were you born in April? I was born here in San Francisco on November 1st, 1901. The forensics investigator and the cops totally mishandle all the physical evidence, making sure that whoever ends up being arrested for the crime never serves a day in jail because there's no way any of this is going to be admissible in court. <laughs> the only thing that'll crack this case is science. Yes, but you've contaminated all of the evidence. Eventually, the cops settle on a prime suspect, Miss Doris Kane. But she and May Lee are good friends, and May Lee knows she's innocent. Doris was born in August under the sign of Leo. She's typical of that sign. Proud, perhaps too self-centered, but courageous enough not to lie about anything. Going through her list of suspects and relying on her expert knowledge of astrology and the Zodiac, May Lee is able to narrow down a list of real suspects, but also predicts more death. Before this case is solved, there will be two other deaths. The film's screenplay was written by Anthony Coldway and Manly P. Hall, that esteemed and very intense gentleman who opened the film. If you are a skeptic in matters of astrology, you will probably ask for concrete proof that astrological predictions have actually been made. Hall was a renowned 20th century esoteric and mystic and the founder of the Philosophical Research Society headquartered in Los Angeles. Manley was a pretty big deal in the 30s. He was a best-selling author, and his speaking engagements where he discussed mythology, metaphysics, and the occult regularly filled auditoriums. 
Hall hoped the film would, quote, open a way for a great cycle of occult philosophy. It didn't. I also found this little item in a 1938 paper that Manley instructed the studio to delay filming until Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter were in conjunction. Astrology is the strangest of the sciences. The film's star, of course, is Anna Mae Wong. She just returned to Hollywood after spending a few years in China. She left due to the disappointment at being passed over for a role in the film The Good Earth a film set in China about Chinese people that ended up starring white actors in yellow face. With When You Were Born, Warner Brothers had in mind a mystery series, similar to the Charlie Chan films. The studio envisioned six pictures over five years, but they only made the one film and the series was abandoned due to its poor performance in theaters. For all his astrological fortune telling, it looks like Manly couldn't predict that. The film also includes some of Warner's rising stars like Jeffrey Lynn, whose role is very, very small and a little bit chaotic. I bet you tell that to all the boys. And B-movie staples like Margaret Lindsay and Lola Lane. Lola is my absolute favorite of the Lane sisters plus Gail Page. And she's got a tiny role here, but I love to see her. You let me and I tell you I've got to see you. Overall, this is a very silly film, and at times it can get very, very repetitive. You'll have to tell me when you were born. June 18th, 1910 in Chicago. Yeah, week four Christmas. What day were you born, Doctor? But it's an oddball concept that is really one of a kind. So if you've got an hour, check it out. Just don't take a drink every time Miss Ming says any variation of When were you born? You might die. There are eight million stories in the Cinema Cities. This has been one. If you watch it, definitely come back and tell me what you think. I really got to hear your opinions on this one. As always, a shout out to all my monthly channel supporters. Your names are listed here. If you'd like to support the channel, links are in the description below. 